All right, I've got Blender open um, in, by using the, um, basically when you go to new, you create a 2D animation, and that's what I started the program with. Um, to get the video in there, um, you have to make sure that you're in a standard view. So in this case, I'm in the Y view. I can just click on the little Y arrow there to get into the Y view. And then what I did is I dragged and dropped um, a video that I had captured on my, on my cell phone and imported that video into Blender just simply by dragging and dropping it into this view. Now the reason why you need to be in the Y view because then that lines it up with the, um, the view that the camera is in that you can see also here. To see through the camera view you would click on this little icon here and you can see the camera. Now if you scrub in the timeline you can scrub and actually see the video change uh, frame by frame. <clears throat> now this will allow you to be able to stop on any frame and then be able to create animation or drawings from that particular frame point. Now I've narrowed my frame uh, down here at the bottom. You can choose how many frames you want in your total uh, animation here. Um, I've already got um, under my um, stroke here, I've already got the setup for my, um, my animation here basically. And so um, you can see that the timing is a little bit off because I sort of imported it in a different way, but you can see that it's pretty much matching up with what you see in the video in the background. Um, so let's let's get into um, how these individual um, frames then are drawn. So um, in the stroke area down here, you can set uh, this green stroke area. You can set the number of um, basically keyframes that you can see before and after a frame. Uh, and I can turn on and off various layers that I have. So I have uh, basically um, different layers. I have one layer that's just the line work. Um, I have, um, and in that layer, there are different materials. So if I go to the material area, we can see that we have a, a number of different materials in here as well. And so in the material area, I've got a material that's turned off, which was my original um, solid fill stroke. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, so I have the lines there. I have uh, basically something called fills for lights and shadows. That's the area I was doing on the, the sweatshirt. And then I have the fills here, which is um, basically all the colors um, without some of those shadows. And I'll tell you why I did those fills in a separate layer um, in a minute. Okay, so really what, what happens then is we need to be able to draw onto, um, onto a frame of the video. And in order to see this, I have to show the overlays. So this is the thing at the top. If I turn on show overlays, I can see the video frame um, at the same time. So if I turn off these fills, you can see lines that basically I traced over the video frame. And again, I used a different image for this. Um, I've got, uh, if I go ahead and turn off the video frame and I turn on what I used to draw up here, this was the image I used to draw. Let's see, it's one of these. Here we go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> these are all different frames that I drop, brought in as a separate element. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so there we go. That one's pretty close. And that was a, this one I used for color. Uh, so, right. So that's pretty good there. Um, and anyway, I've got the stroke selected. And you can see down in the timeline the various keys um, and the different drawings that occurred at different points in time. Okay? And basically, I traced elements that I could see in the video frame um, that I wanted to keep. Now, in order to do that, I created what I considered a draft drawing. So I'm going to keep the lines on here, but I'm going to turn off my black stroke uh, drawings, and I'm going to turn on my solid stroke. And let's see if we can end up seeing what that looks like. Um, so you can see some really light lines there. And let's see if I'm going to turn off all these other ones here. Okay, so this light gray line work here is what I use to basically trace over my background image. Okay, and I drew that on my lines layer here. And basically what you do is you go instead of object mode, you want to go into draw mode and basically you can start drawing using a um, set of tools. So in this case, 
up here is the, um, the, the, the material that I want to use. So this one is called the solid stroke. So I click on the solid stroke one. And then um, that's the material basically it's going to let me draw. And then I can set the, um, the layer that I want to draw that on. So that would be on the lines layer. As you start drawing elements, what you can do is then go in and refine those elements that you've drawn. So if I draw some lines like this, I can go back from draw mode to sculpt mode. And notice what I can do is I can push and pull on these different um, areas by grabbing and dragging these, these features. Okay, So I can push and pull on the lines to sort of fine-tune what it is that I've got. So um, let me just show you an example of what that looks like. So if I go and turn that line off and turn on my, my black lines and my fills and lines here, let's turn all this on here, solid stroke, okay. So in any, any one of these areas, when I turn on these different um, materials, I can lock or unlock those. So most of those I have locked right now. So let's say that I found something that I wanted to fix. Let's say this highlight on the ear there. And I would go to the flesh highlight layer and I would unlock that. And then I, if I'm in the sculpt mode then, what I can do is I can push and pull on those little areas. So I'm going to zoom in on that ear there. Uh, I'm just going to grab and sort of tug and pull on these areas. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the flesh color the highlight on the along the air there by tugging and pulling with that with that sculpt mode. So sculpt mode lets me get into a particular set of lines and sort of push and pull them around, which is really handy. The edit mode <clears throat> lets me go in and really, you know, select an item, let's say that same that same highlight, and I can move it around. I can rotate it, I can scale it, I can do a bunch of things with that object as well in the edit mode. Um, so I could use move, rotate, or scale to adjust those. All right, so really, um, it's about doing one particular drawing at one particular point in, in time, uh, and then moving to another keyframe location and doing it all over again. Um, again, I started with those light lines, and then I um, came back and filled in with the heavier black lines, uh, and then I created materials for each of the colors that I wanted, and I created layers. So the lines layer is in the front, and the fill layers are in the background behind the lines. So as you draw a fill on a fill layer, it goes behind the lines. Then it's a matter of um, doing some special things. So for instance, the fills, lights, and shadows layer, you can actually set it up to um, have it um, do what's called masking. And the masking can mask out um, other layers below that. Um, and I have to poke around. Oh, it's down in here. Um, I can set the, the fills layer here is set to mask the fills layer here. So which means is that the darker areas on this sweatshirt are being masked on the lighter area. So that means I can't paint outside the lighter area of this, this sweatshirt because it won't let me paint areas that are outside of an existed painted surface. So that's a way of sort of trapping the edges of things so that they don't spill over the edge. Anyway, click on the camera icon. We can again see right through the camera view. Um, you can turn off the, the preview to see the other stuff. And then you can hit the play button and just sort of step through and see your, your animation. I also added a, uh, for my stroke object, I went to the modifier area down here. And I added a modifier called noise. And the noise modifier just creates a little bit of wiggling for the, um, for the line work, particularly in between the frames that I have. It just makes it look like it's more animated than it really is.